Okay, so how well do you actually understand basic math? Well, if you have pretty strong basic math skills, then this should be an easy problem to solve without the aid of a calculator. All right, so we are subtracting fractions here. We have 1 fourth minus 5 eighths, and obviously this is a multiple choice question. Let's go and take a look at the answers here. So A is 1 half, B is 3 eighths, C is 1, and D is negative 3 eighths. All right, now if you can figure this out, and again, remember the only rule here is no calculator, but if you have the answer, put that into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer in just one second. Then, of course, I'll walk through exactly how to solve this problem step by step. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help learning math, well, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. All right, so let's go to take a look at this question one more time. Obviously, uh, we need to know a thing or two about fractions, and most people love dealing with fractions. Matter of fact, uh, most people don't like fractions, and they're often confused. But let's see if you did this problem right. All right, so the correct answer to this question is the following, D, negative 3 eighths. All right, now, if you got this right, well, you definitely get a happy face, an A+, plus, a 100%, and a certificate of excellence for being a certified professional expert in the area of subtracting fractions. And uh, obviously, this is a subtraction problem, but uh, if this was an addition problem, I think a lot more of you would have gotten this right because some of you may be answered with three eights. And if you got three eights as your answer, that's pretty good. But uh, we got to be careful here because this is actually a negative um, answer. And of course, I'll explain this as we get into the solution. And if you uh, didn't get any of this right, don't feel bad because my videos are designed to uh, encourage you to learn math, not to discourage you. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the solution right now. Now, let's suppose someone didn't know how to subtract fractions, but they're looking at these answers and like, hmm, one looks like it's a pretty good answer. Maybe what's going on here is we're subtracting the top numbers and the bottom numbers. So maybe we're going to go like 1 minus 5, which maybe someone could think is 4, and then 4 minus uh, 8 would be 4, so 4 divided by 4 is 1. That seems pretty good, but obviously that is wrong. So you have to be uh, very careful uh, for those of you that still have to take math exams, just because you see your answer, and this happens quite often, uh, a lot of students are like, okay, I didn't really uh, study for the test, but I'm going to go through this thing in 10 minutes so I can get to my text messages, and I'm just going to do some stuff to the prom, and hopefully it works out. Hey, look, I see my answer. I must be a genius. I must got this thing. I must, you know, uh, have the right answer here. Unfortunately, uh, you got to be very careful because people rush through tests, they see their answers, and then they end up getting like a 70%. So the only way to really uh, solve a math problem uh, correctly is to know what you're doing. So we have to review how to subtract fractions, which is the same thing as uh, the procedure, is the same thing as adding fractions. So when it comes to fractions, when we multiply and divide, these things here, these operations have nothing to do with addition and subtraction, okay? But the procedure to add and subtract uh, fractions, it's basically the same. All right, now I'm going to show you two ways that we can do this problem. But before we start off, let's get some basic uh, terminology down. So here we have two fractions. The bottom numbers in fractions, these things down here, these are called the denominators. And the top numbers are called the numerators. All right, so we have the numerator and the denominator. This is a, a basic part of a fraction. And there's different type of fractions, improper fractions, proper fractions, mixed number fractions. And if you need help with fractions or basic math, I'll give you uh, some specific uh, uh, recommendations on how you can improve or relearn this stuff. But uh, anyways, let's go ahead and talk about what we need to do in order to subtract fractions. So again, whether it's a subtraction problem or an addition problem, we can't add or subtract fractions unless these bottom numbers down here are the same, i.e. the denominators. So for example, if we had, let's say, 3 fifths plus 1 
fifths. We can add these because the denominators are the same. So all we're going to do is simply um, add the numerator. So the answer here would be four fifths. Now, if this was a subtraction problem, let me go and erase this here, we would do the same thing. So we're like, oh, the denominators are the same. So we just write one denominator, and then we subtract the respective numerator, numerators, excuse me, three minus one, which is two, so two fifths. But here, we can't do anything because the denominators are not the same. So what do we need to do? Well, let's go ahead and get into it right now. All right, so this is the first method to subtract fractions. I'll call it the LCD method. All right, so anytime you don't have the same denominator, which uh, uh, if you do have the same denominator, what we're saying here is that these numbers are perfectly in common, all right? Now, these numbers are obviously not in common, these denominators. So what we need to do is find a number that 4 and 8 have in common. What is the lowest number that both 4 and 8 have in common? Well, that's called the LCD, the lowest common denominator, and that is 8 in our particular problem. Now, uh, how to find the LCD and what the LCD is is a pretty big topic. I'm not going to try to cover uh, it all in this little video. But basically, you can think of the LCD as the smallest number as uh, the smallest number that this number and this number uh, divide into without a remainder. So 8 goes into 8 uh, one time, okay, so there's no remainder, and 4 goes into 8 as well. So uh, both 8 and 4 go into 16, but that's not the smallest number. So the LCD is the smallest number that both of the denominators go into. All right, so that's just a quick kind of basic explanation of what the lowest common denominator is. But what does this mean? Well, it means that uh, we want to change our denominators such that uh, each denominator is the lowest common denominator. So right here, we already have the, L, um, the LCD, but we need to fix this uh, denominator up. So how can we change a 4 into an 8? Well, hopefully you're saying, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, that's easy. Just multiply by 2, and you would be absolutely correct. So if you want to change a 4 into an 8, just multiply it by a 2. By a two. But if we multiply the denominator by a 2, well, you have to also multiply the numerator by a 2 as well. Because really, 2 divided by 2 right here is 1. So 1 times this fraction is, we're not breaking the fraction or changing it to a new value. We're just basically rewriting it such that the denominator is going to be 8. All right, so let's go and do that right now. So 2 times 4 is obviously uh, 8, and then 2 times 1 is 2. So our new uh, fraction situation is going to be 2 over 8 minus 5 uh, over 8. All right, so you can see that work right there. So we just rewrote this fraction such that it has the lowest common denominator. All right, so now that we have this, this is pretty straightforward. Uh, we have the same denominator. Now we just need to subtract the numerator. And this is where some of you, I think, uh, made an error, but uh, no big deal. I want to highlight this because you have to be very careful when you are subtracting fractions or subtracting numbers in mathematics. All right, so again, we have the same denominator, so that is 8, so we're going to subtract the numerator. So 2 minus 5 is negative 3, not a positive 3. So real quick, this is how you can kind of think of it for those of you who are like, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I haven't uh, dealt with positive negative numbers since 1978. No big deal. Let me explain this to you. All right, so what we can do in subtraction problems is something called plus negative. I can change the subtraction to a plus sign, but when I do that, i got to uh, basically put that negative sign to the number to the right. So let's go and do that right now. So I'm going to change this to a plus negative, right, plus negative. So uh, 2 plus negative 5 is the same thing as 2 minus 5. All right, so 2 plus negative 5. Now, why am I doing that? Well, I'm trying to give you a quick lesson on positive and negative numbers. So let's talk about adding positive and negative numbers. Basically, I like to kind of use the money model to explain this. So uh, a negative number is like you owe, uh, owe somebody something, like you have debt, okay? So that's not a good situation. If you have a positive number, it's like you have money. So what is our financial situation here? Well, you might have $2 in your pocket. You're like, yes, I'm rich, I got $2. But then your friend comes up to you and says, hey, listen, remember I uh, lent you uh, that $5 last week? I need that money back, right? So you owe your friend 
uh, that five dollars, right? So you're like, oh, I have to only have two dollars. Uh, I owe you five dollars. Here, take my two dollars. I still owe you three dollars. Okay, so two plus negative five is negative three. So let's do one more quick example, just to kind of make this a bonus lesson. What about this situation? If you had negative three plus negative seven, this is like, you know, of course, you know, we don't want to be in this financial situation. So both of your friends come up to you like, hey, you owe me three dollars, you owe me uh, seven dollars, so you have a total of ten dollars in debt. All right. So uh, you can kind of practice with this simple model. But anyways, this is just all basic math skills that I'm pretty sure most of you forgot. But here is our answer, negative 3 over 8. All right, now I'm going to show you another method on how to subtract these fractions. And I'm going to call this the shortcut method. Actually, I titled this method as the bow tie method. This is an awesome method to add and subtract fractions because we don't even have to think about the lowest common denominator. Okay, which of course makes a lot of you very happy. You're like, yay, no LCD. Uh, you know, this is, I have to say, finding the lowest common denominator for a problem like this is pretty easy. Some of you are like, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, that's not a problem. I can find the LCD. Well, what if I gave you a problem like this? All right, what if it was, uh, it was like 3 over 52 plus 7 over 108 or something like that? Uh, let me kind of just switch this up. Maybe like 258. All right, now this is going to be a whole different deal because finding the LCD here is much more involved. So this method you want to pay attention to. So let's go ahead and talk about that method. But uh, before I show you this awesome little shortcut, let's go ahead and, and uh, take a look at this, which of course is an invitation for you to support this channel, support me in my mission, which is to try to make math a lot less boring and to get people motivated to improve their math skills. Okay, if there's one thing that I've... Um, Unfortunately, I've heard too much throughout many decades of teaching math. It is this right here. I'm bad at math, okay? I'm bad at math. Uh, this is not true, okay? So if you think that uh, you're bad at math, maybe some teacher told you you were bad at math. Listen, that was not a good teacher, okay? You, no one is bad at anything, all right? What you need to do is figure out what your starting point is. Now, if you truly want to learn mathematics, the first step is to change your mindset. Okay, so you can't uh, learn and improve if you're saying, I'm bad at math, but I'm going to learn math. Well, it's not going to work that way. So I'm trying to be kind of a messenger of hope in terms of uh, those of you that struggle in math. It, there is obviously a lot of work uh, involved to learn mathematics, but you can definitely do it. And if you need assistance in uh, learning math, check out my full main math courses. I'm going to leave links to those in the description of this video. And for this particular uh, 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 video, we're, we're talking about fractions, positive and negative numbers. Let me give you three uh, quick uh, course recommendations. First, my math foundations course. That's a quick little basic math review. My math skills rebuilder course. That is a basic math plus algebra geometry kind of re um, refresher course. And they can also check out my pre-algebra course. All right, so let me go ahead and show you this uh, awesome shortcut. By the way, don't forget to subscribe as well so you can get my latest videos. All right, so I'm going to show you something that if you haven't seen before, you're going to be super excited because it's going to make your life a lot easier. All right, so we have 1 fourth minus 5 eighths. So here is the same problem. Now, again, for those of you that know fractions, you might be like, all right, let me see here. Uh, Mr. YouTube Math Man said, take a look at the denominators, and I got to think about that LCD business, blah, 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 blah. Or we could just forget about that and remember this pattern right here. Matter of fact, I'm going to draw it out, and then I'm going to explain it. So the pattern is going to be like this. Just remember this. So this is going to be step one. This is going to be step two. Matter of fact, I'll write this step two. This is step one. And then this is going to be step three. Okay, so this is the pattern we're talking about. And it kind of looks like a little bow tie like this. That's what we call it. That's why I call it the bow tie method. All right, so watch how easy this is going to be. All right, so let's go to do this problem. So we're going to apply this pattern. So it's going to be eight times one minus 4 times 5 over 4 times 8. So you got to do it in this specific order. 1, 2, and 3. Let's go ahead and do this right now. Okay, so 8 times 1 is obviously 8. All right, so 8 times 1 is 8. We're going to put that answer right there. 
Now, when we kind of do our little diagonals here, what we're doing is forming the numerator. So eight times one is eight, that's our first step. And then we're gonna go across this way, four times five is 20, okay? And because this is a uh, subtraction problem, we're gonna have a subtraction up here. This forms our numerator. So our little crisscross thing forms our numerator. And then to get our denominator, all we have to do is multiply across. So four times eight is 32. And so now, all we have to do is clean this up and we will have the right answer. So eight minus 20 over 32 is the following. All right, so eight minus 20 over 32. Uh, again, we have to be careful here, plus negative. Uh, we have a, a negative situation. So our answer here, eight plus negative 20 is negative 12 over 32. And for those of you that know how to uh, simplify or reduce a fraction, uh, remember, 4 goes into 12 3 times, so this is going to be negative 3, and 4 goes into 32, 8. So our final answer is negative 3 over 8, which, of course, is the same thing as what we got with the LCD. But uh, the only little drawback on the bow tie method is that sometimes you do uh, get an answer that you need to reduce, but you will get the right answer every single time. And this is super powerful even in algebra. So if I had like x over y minus z over w, and you're like, well, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, let's use the bow tie method. Sure, let's do it. Okay, so it's gonna be this times this over the, uh, this times this over this. So this applies in algebra as well. So w times x is wx minus y times z is yz over y times w, so that's yw. This is the correct answer. Look at that, you just did algebra. Okay, so that is a wrap for this video. Again, none of my videos are, to, are designed to make anyone feel bad about math, but I am kind of a truth teller when it comes to math, and that is if you want to learn math, you're gonna have to put in the effort. The worst way to try to learn math is by trying to, you know, taking little shortcuts, but like, hey, you know, I'll do a little bit of this. I'll skip this stuff because I don't really like learning that. I'll do a little bit of that, a little bit of this. You can't dabble in math. Uh, you know, you're going to set yourself up for failure. So the only way, if you truly want to comprehend mathematics, and you can, okay, irrespective of what your prior track record, tra prior track record has been, what you have to do is, you know, have a good course. Um, of instruction, all right? So, you know, it, like my courses, for example, just takes all the thinking out of it. You know, if you want to learn pre-algebra, algebra, algebra one, geometry, whatever the case is, just get into my course, okay? All right, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.